everybody, welcome back to the Peeves channel. Today, I'm gonna be trying out the new Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Oliver Town. I, why do I always wanna call it Oliver Town? <laughs> Re redo. Take two. Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, also known as... Poot. Poot. Story of Seasons, Poot. What were they thinking? What the poot? What were they thinking? When they named it that. Poot's in the chat. <laughs> but seriously, why did they name this game Pioneers of Olive Town? They could have just named it, first of all, just like Story of Seasons, Olive Town. I guess they want it to be like Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town is a really popular one. So maybe it's like Story of Seasons, something of something town. Okay, I get it. I get it. But even if they want to go with that, did they not notice that it was Poot? Did they just not care? Did they think people wouldn't... People, other people wouldn't notice we noticed we noticed the poot but e okay even if for some reason i haven't played the game so i don't know why specifically it's pioneers instead of like i don't know friends of olive town like uh people of olive town random things that you can do in olive town it's a town you can go to anything that would have been a better name than that Let's hold on i think i like <gasps> sorry like close up of my mouth there it's kind of gross my camera got a my got a gloop on it my camera got a, got a poot on it. I was about to eat you guys. <laughs> but even if they had to go with something specifically like pioneers, let's think. What are some synonyms of pioneers that don't start with a P? I'm going to look it up. Settler. Could have been settlers of Olive Town. Could have been suit. <laughs> Colonists. Grow up, Colin. Travelers of Olive Town. Explorers of Olive Town. Discoverers of Olive Town. People of Olive Town. There's so many other things they could have done. But poot? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna harbor on this any longer than that. I just honestly, ever since that came out, I thought about ranting about it on Twitter or something, and I was like, no, I need to save this. I need to save this for something. I need to complain to somebody, and it's- it's you guys, I'm sorry. Poot! Seriously though, it could be a good game. I- I have some hesitations about this game, which I'll go into as we were playing, I think, but it, hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm a little pessimistic though. Do you want normal mode or baby mode? Freaking baby mode, dude! I don't want to play baby mode. Come on. Yeah, no babies. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town, just like he did. <gasps> Is that him? In the middle, I guess? <gasps> Whoa! I'm gonna try our name our farm, Poot Farm, and see what <laughs> see if it lets me do it. It probably will. Okay, here we are. Oh, God, the frame rate. This is one thing I noticed from the trailers I was very hesitant about. Look at that. The frame rate on the character creation come on guys okay anyway let's let's go pioneer front what are the diff oh the eyes are different we could be like anime we're tough baby oh i like the teeny eyes sweet oh we're so sweet Oh, he looks sad. Oh, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, even s sad, but small eyes. Elite. I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Our character's sad about the frame rate. He's very sad about it. Hairstyle, short farmer cut. Ooh. Oh, the locks, baby. I would be really impressed with the hair waving if it wasn't running like 15 frames per second. This is a big pet peeve of mine. Ever since it's been gone from Harvest Moon to Story of Seasons, a lot of the games have bad frame rate. And it's like, why? It's not like these games are like that in graphically intense. Why is the frame rate so bad all the time? Bad frame rate really is a big buzzkill for me. I know some people like literally won't care. Look at this. Oh, we're so cute. Look at those pigtails. Of course, part of it is the Switch because when you it, it's it runs better when you play it handheld. But I mean, still, come on. What hair should we get? I want to be bald. We can't be bald. I guess we're supposed to be young. I don't know. I'm going to have luscious locks. I want to watch our hair laggily wave in the breeze. Voice fresh. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. 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 What are these okay. names? Okay. How powerful. Okay. That was wild. Okay. Dude, that was the freshest thing I've ever heard. I want to be wild. We're wild, dude. What is this? <laughs> I was like, what does this mean? Powerful or charming? This is the more masculine stance. And then this is the this is the more feminine stance. Uh, are you telling me you can't have a more feminine stance and be powerful? What the heck, game? Uh, go with this appearance? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> charming looks like they just booted. That's the just booted pose. <gasps> oh! <laughs> the pink. That's a little excessive, okay? Those flowing locks <laughs> with the uh, bright pink. I like the white, maybe? I'm gonna go with the white. What? Dude! Going out on my own with the locks flowing in the air. Riding my white shoes. 
should have been pink best, but I just don't care. This intro is kind of lame. <laughs> this intro is kind of lame. <laughs> All right, we're fixing it. We're fixing our Vespa. This song is so cheesy. <laughs> we are oh, first person. Oh, we. Oh wait, no, we're flying. Never mind. I thought we were driving in first person. No, we're flying into the air. All right. Look how sad we look. Oh man, I'm riding on my Vespa. Oh man, it's on fire. Oh, this is the this is a mayor if I've ever seen one in these games. And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? It's a Vespa, okay? Sheesh! No, I didn't. You mustn't fib. I can tell what you did. Then why did you ask? Well, that must have been an arduous, arduous journey. You poor motor, your poor motor. I can't, can't read. You were a poor motorcycle tells a story all its own. Ah, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Er, by the way, might I have your name? My name is Poot. Or we want to be Pooty. <laughs> Pooty, we're Pooty. Confirm, for sure. I see, so your name is Pooty, is it? That sounds so familiar. Yeah, cause it's the name of the freaking game. They named it. Poot! Oh my goodness, is your birthday? Uh, is it? What is it I think it is? Was that a sentence I just read? I guess. L you know, I never do this, but I'm gonna make my birthday like right away. So, so it can be my birthday <laughs> in the first year. Early birthday before we make friends? Oh yeah, I guess, I guess it doesn't do anything if you don't have any friends. Aw oh, man, I blew it, I blew it. Well, we'll have a sad, we're, our character's sad anyways. So we'll just have a sad birthday by ourselves. I remember spring third. Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Oh, uh, then that would make you? His grandson, yeah, see, they do they do choose the gender. Like, the, I, they don't do it at the start, though. Of course, my apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. Goodness gracious to think my dear old friend's grandson would find his way to Olive Town. Come on, then. I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. Now, what was the name of his farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of this farm, surely. What was it again? What should our farm be named? I did kind of want to just be Poot Farm, just to see if they'd let me put it. I'm going to try it. Okay, apparently you can are we we is this, are we gonna have a long tutorial we probably are here you are i'll pass these along to you you just keep that in your pocket oh, he took it like oh holds it so precious yeah he just keeps like a hoe in his pocket at all times and an axe and a hammer as i'm sure you're well aware this farm has seen better days but those tools will be the key to changing all of that why didn't you do it okay yeah i can figure it out we're all good here it's like every harvest moon game ever i'd like you to try everything you've learned i'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to don't tell me what to do why did i just show up to the town he's like i'd like for you to do these things it's like no i don't have to listen to you why have to why have to do whatever you say i'd like you to go away oh and stop talking also, if there's anything about Olive Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm its mayor, after all. As a quick word of mayoral advice, I'd suggest you get acquainted with our residents, leaving a good first impression as paramount. I always say. Now then, I'll be on my way. All right, later, idiot. Okay, so here is the game. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess these are wild crops over here. Yeah, I know. You press the A button. You press the A button. So I, people have been hitting me up actually fairly frequently on Twitter. Hey, are you going to play Pioneers of All of all Town? Are you excited about All of Town, All of Town? I have not been though. I haven't really responded to those too much because I don't really want to like spread like a lot of negativity or anything, but I'm not super stoked about this game. Maybe, hold on. How do I pull my axe out? I, sh or I should have been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> do the uh tutorial i saw the trailer for this one i'm not a big fan of this cutesy art style really i really kind of prefer the more classic i don't know i like basically every Har harvest moon art style even the kind of cutesy anime like look of, of animal pride i didn't mind too much but for some reason this sort of like chibi like simplistic look i don't know it just looks kind of like a mobile game to me i i just not in love with this art style but also the freaking frame drops that you see in the trailer we already saw some on the menu so hopefully there won't be a lot of that but we do have skills so we can level up. That's cool. Okay, so there are different traits and recipes similar to Stardew. That's cool. All right, well, where are our actual tools? I was trying to skip through the tutorials for the sake of the stream and stuff, but maybe I actually am wasting time now because I don't know how to do it. Do we not have a hoe yet? Guess not. Because we don't have a hoe, that seems kind of weird to me. Let's just cut some stuff. Hey, yeah! Wait, oops, I pressed the wrong button. Hey, yeah! Hey, yeah! Dude, look at the house. There's a tree growing through it. Holy crap! Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're getting so much wood right now. I want to go down to the to, to the to the town and meet some people, which which will uh, lead into another thing that I was like disappointed with with this game. How do I unequip? Um, I guess I'll just run around with a hand. I want to run around with an axe in my hand. Let's go to Olive Town. Don't forget to drop a massive boot by the end of the tree. Oh, the cows are cute though. They're so big. Hey, who is it? Who are you? Jorg. Hey, I haven't heard you around here before. 
Oh, he just like changed animation so quickly. Ah, your name's Pooty, is it? I'm Georg, captain of the ferry. Good to meet you, lad. Oh, he liked it. Okay, so here is the thing. One of the biggest things that I was very pessimistic with this game. There's no portrait art. And I know some people won't care about this because it sounds kind of petty and like a not a very good reason to not like a game. But I literally, the reason why the original Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town caught my interest so much was because of the portrait art. I saw the portrait art and it really, really sold me on it. Because I played the like the Game Boy Harvest Moon and I liked the game play, but there was no like personality to it really. There's not a lot of characters or anything. But when I saw the Friends of Mineral Town Game Boy Advance version and the different portrait art and all the different characters and all the girls you could date, I thought that was so cool and all the different like poses and, and, and facial expressions and stuff. And I, every since then, I've really, really, really liked the portrait art. And whenever they don't have the portrait art, I am very, very bummed. And I think it affects the game quite a bit, at least in my perception of it. And they're like, okay, well, we have these great 3D models, so we don't really need the portrait art. It's like, okay, like, look at this guy. Like, is he that well detailed that we don't need portrait art? I don't think so. I mean, he looks good. If it was him and the portrait art, that would be cool. But I don't know. It's just a buzzkill for me, personally. We've got a couple of cuties here. Bridget. See, I can't even see her face. I can't, I'm not even, I can't even see her. That's cute. I like that. But I can't see her face. I can't even see her. So we're meeting her for the first time. I don't even know what she looks like. Of course, first of all, she's going to look like every other character, but with different hair. I'm Bridget, very familiar with handling animals. So if you need any help with that, please ask me. Like, I would be really like, oh, that was so cool. She did that, like, cute little, like, whatever that dance was. <laughs> that was cool. But it, without a portrait, I don't know. It's just so meaningless to me. Like, did, was, was, was this... Really worth replacing the portrait art? Whatever. Uh, I don't I doubt we have enough money to buy a pet or a mount. What is this, World of Warcraft? Gotta get my epic mount. Yeah, see, another character, Patricia. In order to talk to her to zoom up, for the first time we're talking to her, I can't even see what she looks like. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're Pooty, right? I'm Patricia. I run the animal shop. Also, the text was lagging. Yeah, so, cool. We can't actually really see what she looks like. Okay, she has the exact same face as her, I think. Can't zoom in on their face, so I wouldn't know. But she has, like, slightly different eyes and uh, lipstick. So, yeah. Didn't need portrait art. Definitely. Definitely not. All right, so I guess this guy lives here with them. There's, yeah, there's three beds, so I assume they're like a family. Maybe that's the mom on the left, and then she's the daughter on the right, I guess. I, I literally have no way of telling which one's older or younger, because their models look exactly the same. I guess the girl who did this is younger, because that's sort of like a young, like, little jig to do. I don't know. They're so boring. Yeah, I agree. Hello. 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 We haven't met before, have we? Oh, so your name is Pooty. I'm Raw. It's a pleasure to meet you. <gasps> As you get used to farm work, you'll find yourself leveling up various skills along the way. These skills, but I didn't do any farm work. Why did I level up my farm work? All right, so this looks like a blacksmith or something. Nigel's handiwork smashing. So let's see if we can get a close-up on Nigel here. Oh, we actually kind of could a little bit. Look at that detailed face. Definitely didn't need portrait art. I swear the blacksmiths in these games are always so lonely. They're always all by themselves. They're never married. <laughs> They're always just sad. Oh, I like the waterfall. It looks. I like the colors. Dude, whose freaking mansion is this? This better not be where the mayor lives. Why is this bed sheet look so? Oh, is this like where his maid lives or something? Can you give his maid a better bed sheet than that? Is this a kitchen? It it looks like his maid or whoever this is sleeps in the kitchen and doesn't even have good bed sheets. Look at this house. You can't buy better bed sheets, or is that this just okay? Never mind. I guess that's his bed sheets. This is the smallest mansion I've ever seen, actually. This mansion is huge, and it's like only like he's got a bed. He's got a. What is this mansion? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that is the only bed. That's his bed. I thought he was just a jerk and had like a live-in like employee or something. But no, that's just his bed in the kitchen. In his giant mansion. It's all for show. Look at this freaking mansion out here. He didn't even have it upstairs. Oh, what are all these windows up there? What are all those windows? What is this? That makes no sense. Whatever. Hello. 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 That was some great voice acting. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I don't think we've had the pleasure of this. I seem to recall the mayor saying something about this. Hello. All right. You're Pooty. You live. How does everybody know me? Hello. <laughs> hey, chat. Hello. I'm Ralph. Yeah, he has no face either. None at all. So this is the guy that wears a hat. Ah, uh, no. Say hello again. Say hello again. Say the line. Hello. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Cindy, and you are? Oh, you're Pooty. So you're the one who's going to be living on the farm. How does literally everybody know? But may I come by to play sometime? Wait, what's weird? <laughs> we I have work to do at the farm. Whatever your name was, you can't come. Ooh, someone else went in there. Who dish? Hey. 
Hey! If you're looking for the lowdown on Olive Town, then you've come to the right gal. I'm Lara, the new town's tour guide. We have a tour guide? This town has a tour guide? I haven't seen anyone visiting. We have a paid tour guide, apparently. Laura's kind of hotty, low-key. I mean... Yes! Your booty. Hi, Norman. Don't bother stopping to eat your fish to, like, turn around and look at me. I mean, I did just walk into your house uninvited, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining. Like, what does their hair look like? And their... Oh, my... Everybody's staring at me when I walked in. If you're hungry or low in stamina, why not have a meal at the bistro? No, no, don't leave. I have to talk to you. Oh, my God. Is this the guy that lives at the mansion? If the <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this goober. <laughs> Look at this goober. Yeah, seriously. What the hell is this guy? His haircut. Why couldn't we choose that haircut? I want that haircut. Maybe it's DLC? Oh, the hair? I'll pay for the DLC to get this hair. Okay, we got to meet this guy. No, no, I need to see him face to face. What? He's, okay, hold on. There he is. Okay. Ah! Ooh. No, I didn't need a portrait. Can totally see him. Why, hello, I'm called Lovett. I travel the world in search of fine cuisine, writing magazine articles on my discoveries. Yeah, so he did some cute little dance, but I couldn't see it. <laughs> it it's a lifelong dream of mine to be a voice actor, but I specifically want to do voiceovers for this kind of game. So I'm going to just go... Hello. Or... Or, or just like, hey, like just like random Zelda characters. <laughs> just like talk to a character. <laughs> what would this guy, my voice, my voice for this guy when you first meet him. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think that's what he should sound like. Hire me. Come on. Hire me. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Love it. Why don't you have an upstairs mansion? Why do you sleep in the kitchen? You look rather wealthy. No one who's not wealthy would have a haircut that stupid because no one wants to tell him no because he's so rich. So they're just like, oh, no. Yeah, I love it. Looks great. Love it, in fact. Oh, oh yeah. Great. Great. Didn't need portrait art. Didn't need portrait art. Definitely not. Blair. Blair could be a cutie. Don't know. Couldn't tell you. Can't see what she looks like. The steaming fish. Yeah, the, the food actually looks pretty good. Okay, the best thing about this game so far. I'm not being on hyperbolic. This is awesome. The little chicken that hops up and down in the text box. I like that. I like that. I'm the chicken. I'm the chick- All right, my character's tired. It's 745. It's past my bedtime. Apparently, we can still go into everybody's houses, even though it's late. Oh, no. Oh, oh, dude, a cutscene! Manuela. Well, now, you've got the look of someone who hasn't gone fishing before. Am I right? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know my character's backstory. Yeah, we finally can see one of the faces. Yeah, I mean, she. Uh, this looks okay, but it's not that detailed. The rules of fishing are simp simple. If there's a body of water, you can probably cast your line into it. I mean, you could. That doesn't mean there's going to be a fish in it, but yeah, I'm not going to, like, fish explain to Manuela here. Once you gain enough finishing experience, hire me. I'm uh, voice actor, by the way. Hire me as your voice actor. I bet you'll be able to reel in the big ones just like me on more Marcos can. And that's all there is to it. Now get out there and enjoy the fish. Ooh, you're the one who came on that motor. How does everybody know everything about me? Apparently that is everything about me, by the way. My grandfather lived here. I'm on the farm and I had a motorcycle and I've never fished before, apparently. I'm Emilio. Don't forget to go, go for getting it now. Okay, sure. Is Emilio hitting on us? Hope so, dude. My hair isn't nearly flowy enough. It moves a little bit though. We had such golden locks. I was led to believe that they would flow around. Okay, so should we try fishing? Fishing, go! I don't like the highlighted area on the water. I don't like that. Okay. I don't like it. It's stupid. Okay. I lost it again. Well, it, well, it, okay. I got it. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh! Sardine! That's stupid. Overall, very boring fishing technique for one thing. That's not engaging or fun. Or, what is that? 
Is it a bird inside of a tree? What are we even looking at? What the, what the heck was that? Was that an owl inside of a tree? Why was it showing that to us? What is that? Why is that a loading screen picture? <laughs> what is it? It's art. <laughs> it's art. Is this a randomly generated uh, loading screen image? If so, that's not a very good idea. I don't get it. I want to see another loading screen. Hold on. Just show it again. <laughs> What is that? Is it gonna show it again every time we walk in between? Okay, there's okay. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. <laughs> what did we get this time? I mean, that one's not great, but at least it's at least it like at least it wasn't an owl inside of a tree, like literally clipping inside of a tree. Okay, that one's cute. That one's cute. What was the owl? Did they put that in on purpose? I'm so confused. Oh, is that user submitted screens? Is that what that is? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. I. I get it now. <laughs> I was like, that's still kind of a weird idea. I probably, okay. That actually is very a very bad idea to make your loading screens user submitted by default for that reason specifically. I think it's a bad idea not only because you're gonna get bad ones, but also you're gonna get bad ones and people like me, a lot of people playing this game are not gonna realize that they're user submitted. And it's just confusing. Like why is there a literal loading screen image that's so stupid? Like <laughs> they should bring it up and be like, hey, you can turn it on if you want. Like not by default, not by default. Like that was so bad that, that I, it, 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 if I hadn't, if chat hadn't have told me it was user submitted, I might have just stopped playing because I'm just like, that's the stupid, that's the stupidest thing. Like if that's that, that's the loading screen that they put in. That's the little amount of effort that they put in. I'm not sure I want to continue playing anymore. That yeah, that's a really really bad idea. Well, I'm actually not gonna turn them off though because that's freaking hilarious. I want to see. Do we have? Can we submit one? Can we submit one too? Yeah, we have to do one. That's my entire goal now. We have to get a really good user submitted loading screen now. We're so pretty. We're so pretty. Our hair. Yeah. It does kind of look like Nigel Thornberry. Find them as low res possible and take a pic of it. It's like. There. You over there might I have a moment of your time. I have a request for you. If you have the time to do so, would you be able to take pictures of those wild animals? Sure. Why not? I suppose I should also mention that I have interest in building an aquarium if you could donate any sea creatures. That's cool. So they're doing like an animal crossing thing. Oh, and I almost forgot from time to time you might come across relics of ages past. So this is, yeah, they like made a museum kind of like animal crossing. I don't think any Harvest Moon has said that before. That's cool. We'd appreciate any support you can provide us. I'll be counting on you. We have a literal well in our pocket. There's the camera. Okay, let's take it out. We're gonna take so many pics. We're gonna take so many pics. Let's see what's in the back of the mansion. Probably some like Easter egg or something. What is it? What is it like made of? Wait, it's like made of wood or something? Like, am I missing something? It doesn't look very good back here. It's fake? It's fake? Wait, it's fake? Like, what do you mean? Like, it's like a movie set? I mean, I guess I can see what you guys are saying. I mean, it's a real building. To me, it just looks like it's not finished in the back. But yeah, it does seem very cheaply made, I guess. All right, what can we take a good picture? Like, I can literally run around the whole game like this. Dude, it's a first person shooter now. Bum, ba, bum, bum. <laughs> Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Who are we gonna kill? Oh. <laughs> play Call of Duty! <laughs> Run around the whole freaking game. I'm gonna play the whole game in first person. Let's take a picture. There. That's a good one. Actually, I'll take a better one. Look at this spot. <laughs> Just a picture of a spot <laughs> on the ground. Alright, what else we got? It's gotta be something good. What the heck is this? I'll th we'll take a bunch of pictures. We'll take a bunch of pictures and we'll decide which one is which one is best. Let's get a close up. Like, I mean, they look okay. They really do look decent. They all kind of look a little bit samey, but like, I w if they, oh, she even like looked her eyes at me. I don't know if that was like her actually looking at me. They look decent, but I, I would be happy with the way they look if they also had portrait art. But since they don't, it's like, it's not good. And they don't look good enough to me to re replace the portrait art. You know what I mean? Cow butt. Let's take a picture of cow butt. Okay. <laughs> well, it actually kind of looks cute because they have bells on their bum, on their tail. Ah, no, he's moving. Ah, no, stop moving. He moved. Turn around, cow. Turn around. Need a close up. <laughs> Amazing. Why does that chicken look weird? He's like sick or something. I, I do like that you can walk around in first person. I mean, I don't know, like, it's a little weird, but it's cool. You can see everything loading in, though, which is kind of weird. Can't go over there, fortunately. 
Hey, come back! Come back! I'm playing Pokemon Snap now. I want to get our own animal stuck in a tree picture. The game looks surprisingly better in first person. Yeah, it actually does. That's the thing. It's like when you're trying to talk to these people, you can't even really see what they look like. I think they said, oh, we don't need portraits because our character models look so good. And it's like, well, you can't even really see the character models very well. Like, see, she looks cute. She's cute and when you get close up on her. But like, she doesn't look like anything from here. Even if you talk to her, it's like you can't really see her that well. If you get in first person, though, she looks all right. I like her dress. Yeah, they do look like fake. They, they look very Barbie dollish. That I will agree with. Hold on, what's in here? Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Nice pizza. I wonder if there's like a lot of Easter eggs hidden around here. Just like a blurry. <laughs> it's blurry. Can't fo I don't know how to focus my camera. <laughs> we're, we're we're getting a great collection here. Or hold still. I gotta take your picture. I'm surprised that I, we haven't seen any pictures like that yet. I don't know who that is. Who's this? Lori. Hello. I mostly just care about taking pictures now. I'm a photographer. I'm a photographer. Oh, there's the fox. He actually cute. He cute. Orange fox. Why is he like... Oh. Okay, I was gonna say... Oh, my album's full. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> so whoever's still in loading screen, they just like pop over this creepy guy. Let's take a look at our pictures. All right. We got this lovely picture of the dot, the dot on the sand. This is a B plus. This piece, it's all about appreciating the small things, uh, the little details in life. It's actually a very artistic statement that I'm making. Uh, yeah. Uh, then we have this. What actually is what's so great about this is you can interpret this image any way you'd like because it, it, it first is like, oh, well, it's like a rope or something. But no, it, you, it actually, it kind of looks like it could be something else. If you float it upside down, it kind of looks like a little bit like a mouth or maybe it's like an octorock at the top. You can see like uh, his thing and then his snout but he's on top of like a Kermit mouth going, ah, ah. So you can interpret it. Yeah, it's pogging. You can interpret this photo in so many different ways. And that's what makes this special. This one is really just self-explanatory. Framing that in my house. Uh, this right here, it's, I'm trying to, I can't, I, I'm pretty good at BSing things, but I'm not, I can't come up with anything for this one. Yeah, it's a chocolate wafer. Yeah, it invokes uh, the essence of sweetness in the viewer. And, uh, you know, sometimes a little bit of sweetness in your life. It's really all you need. It's either that or burnt waffle. This is photo uh, appreciating the uh, art cooking. So this is art within the art. Cooking is art form in and of itself, but it's also a drawing of cooking. So that's art on top of art. And then we took a picture of it, which is uh, photography. So that's an art on top of an art on top of an art, otherwise known as an art sandwich. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> then we've got this. There's a lot of things in life this, that you aspire to different things in your life. And photography is something that many people aspire to. This represents failure because you didn't know how to focus the camera. And the moral of the story of that is do a little bit better next time with your camera. This is just me being, I got put in timeout because I took this picture. So honestly, I kind of deserved it. And then we have this. It's, uh, I don't know, it, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't come with anything. What is, what is this chat? What is this? I, I don't know. It's abstract. I don't know what it is. I can't come up with anything. Someone had Taco Bell. Someone had Taco Bell and it didn't go too well and they couldn't make it to a bathroom in time. Last but not least, of course, this guy. <laughs> This guy represents uh, Nightmares Incarnate. The legends say some people see this face in their dreams. And if you see this face in your dreams at night, that is a bad omen. It's actually something terrible is going to be happening to you very quickly in the future. So uh, I hope for your sake that you don't see this face tonight when we fall asleep. That's our album. Who's this? Who are you? Um. Hello, you're a pootie. I'm Beth. See, also look at this. Look at that. They they literally have portrait art. They already made art of them. Why can't that show up when you talk to them? What? Come on. I mean, I get it. Like it's it takes a while to make all these different portraits of them. But like seriously, they already have some. Oh my god. You're gonna be kidding me. I'm pissed about that. Yeah, and the art is so good too. That's what really kills me. Hand over. Hand over. Here. Wait, what? Wait, what did I give her? I gave her a log? <laughs> I didn't mean to give her a log. I thought I was handing over a thing to her. Oh my god. I just gave her a log. She kind of, it didn't seem like she hated it. So is she our girlfriend now? Nice. Smooth move. Oh yeah. Manic. <sighs> Calm down. <laughs> Don't pin this on me, Manic. Top of the morning to you. Did he really just sit? Top of the morning to you, ladies. Top of the morning to you. 
Today I thought it'd be what? Shut up. I just want to submit the picture. I'm actually not gonna even play this file. I'm not gonna name my, my real character Pootie. <laughs> I want to submit the picture. Let's see what other big pictures we get for the loading screen. Oh, whoa, dude, lightning. I mean, that's okay, I guess. It's cool that they caught a picture of the lightning, but it doesn't make for a good loading screen image. Send postcard, probably, that's it. Select photo, upload. Make your farmer's name public. You can also keep it, I don't care. It's called Poot. <laughs> Owner Pooty. Yeah, look how sad I am. I just want to see a few more loading screens. There it is. There's a, there's a button. It's the best part of the game. Yeah, I mean, it's the one we've, we've spent like two whole days doing it. What are they? Uh, how many people do they need to water this? <laughs> oh my gosh. This game is amazing. All right, well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for watching this game. It's okay. I, I was kind of complaining about some stuff, but I do think it actually is okay. I haven't played it long enough to recommend, but uh, let me know in the comments if you guys think this is a good game, if, you had, if you've had fun with it, if you've been checking it out, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, if you want to see me rant about another Harvest Moon game, here you go, right there. Bye-bye! <laughs>